Hey friends, my name is Sarah Franklin. I am a PT Tennessee Young Adult Fellow. And in this video, myself and the other three fellows are going to show you around where we currently are. We believe that in the midst of everything that's going on with people being stuck inside, it's important to get moving and get outside if possible and kind of move around and get your energy up and yeah, so we're gonna take some time and show you where we are in the world because we're all in different places. So we thought it would be pretty cool to see. So I'm gonna start by showing you around my parents' home because that's where I currently am in Covington, Tennessee. And then this is also my hometown where I grew up. So I'm gonna take some time and show you some local hangouts that I used to go to and where I spent my childhood. So hopefully you enjoy this. Come on, let's go. So this is our barn that we have in our front yard. Um, this is called a barn quilt and usually people have these on barns and it's a design uh, specifically related to your family and this right here in the middle is called a Celtic knot and um, my dad just really liked that uh, design and those colors so he decided that that would represent our family well so yeah this is our barn. Also a couple of days ago we planted trees. So if you didn't know what trees looked like before they grew up, this little guy is what they look like. And we planted him in the little dirt right here. And he's just a little sproutling and then he will grow big and strong like all of those big trees over there. So we have about 10 trees planted. So in a couple of years, we should see a lot of growth and big old trees standing big and tall in our little field. All right. So now that I've shown you around my parents' house and shown you what it looks like around here, I'm going to show you the rest of my town and some of my favorite places that I went to growing up. And I'm going to do it while walking my dog Maggie because she needs to get outside too and move around just like all, we all do. So you ready Maggie? You ready to go? So this place is where I spent the majority of my time in high school. I was on the soccer team for four years throughout high school and I played my entire childhood in like rec leagues and this place is kind of like home. I spent many, many hours on this soccer field. So now I'm going to walk you around one of my favorite places in Covington, the square. One of my other favorite places about Covington is this. This is my church that I grew up in and my dad grew up in and his mom grew up in. This is my first Presbyterian church. All right, friends, so that's my little slice of Covington, Tennessee and a few of my absolute favorite places. I hope you really enjoyed it. And we want you to know that we love you and we miss you so much. And we hope that you're able to get moving and possibly get outside and have some, some joys to share and to experience together. Um, we love you and we miss you and we hope you're doing well. Bye guys. Hey all, it's Jordan coming at you from my backyard in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today we're gonna take us a little walk around my neighborhood. I'm so excited to show this to everyone. So let's go on and head out.
is my favorite spot in my neighborhood. I love it here because it's really windy outside, very sunshiny, and I can always hear the sound of water. Can you hear it? The water is running because it's being pulled up from under the ground. The people who built this neighborhood thought more people would move in if there was a lake nearby for people to swim, fish, and kayak in. Unfortunately, we don't really swim in this lake because there used to be alligators in it. Last summer, there were two gators and nobody wanted to get bitten on the arm or leg, so no one swam in this lake. Thankfully, the Mississippi National Park Service came and took those gators away, caught them, put them in a nice swamp down near Biloxi, but we still don't swim in it because it's real, real scary. We don't know if there's still gators in there and we won't know until we see one. So we usually just fish and sometimes kayak. I come out here with my grandpa and my sister all the time. And we just talk and hang out because it's real pretty. <laughs> and so this is my favorite spot in my neighborhood. Okay. I hope you'll have a good time talking with me, um, and I hope to see you on future videos. We miss you, PT family. Love y'all. Bye. It's Wayne, the fellow from Antioch. I'm at Big Ridge State Park. Um, there's a lake. We got some mountainous area. Um, some nice trees everywhere. But I'm out here. I wanted to say shout out to my Antioch kids. Um, miss y'all a lot but yeah so this is kind of where I live this is what East Tennessee is sorry for the brightness it's very sunny out here um, but this is what East Tennessee is um, behind me is a eastern red cedar tree um, it's the most common type of cedar tree in our area and the most common tree I believe in this part of our area so, yeah, we'll, we're just going to take a walk. I'm going to turn the camera around so we can see the lake, maybe. But yeah. It's the lake. Got some people over there playing. Some campground stuff. But, yeah, I hope you all are great. And, yeah, tune in to... PT stuff. Bye. Hi guys, it's Claire. I am here in Watertown, Tennessee, um, about 30 miles east from Nashville. Um, we are in a very, very rural part of Middle Tennessee. If you don't know what rural means, it's basically just a lot of country land, like farms and a lot of forests and that kind of thing. So we actually are here. I'm at my parents' house. We live on a farm. So that's my barn. And yeah, I'm just really excited to show you guys um, just a little bit um, about Watertown. It's a really beautiful part of um, the greater Nashville area and I really love it here. So yeah. This is our farm. Um, we live, we, so we have a creek here and it's really fun, right? It's been raining the last few days, so the creek is really full, but um, most of the time, there's my barn right there. Most of the time, the creek is dry. So this is a really fun place for us to go to like splash around and sometimes there's frogs in here. Yeah. So that's my parents' house. This is where we live. We live out in the country. No one around us. Can't even see any houses. Okay guys, so this is um, the 100 acre farm that I was telling you guys about. That hill is um, part of their land. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you can see, but way over there, we got a few cows. Um, they also have sheep 
and goats and things. But um, I can't actually get to them right now. I, I can't see them. So. Alright guys, I want to show you one of my favorite parts of Watertown, which is our drive-in movie theater. It's called the Stardust. The drive-in movie theater is really unique because um, we don't really have any anymore. Basically what a drive-in movie theater is, is it's an outside movie screen where you park your car and watch from the inside of your car, which is really, really cool um, during this time when we're supposed to be social distancing because um, the Stardust is still open. Like this weekend, they are playing um, double features of Sonic the Hedgehog and Onward, which are still in movie theaters. That's another unique thing about the Stardust is that they play first run movies, which is really, really cool. So that's one of my favorite places. If you would just go down this road, that's how you get to the screens. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and following along with me. I loved showing you guys um, my little slice of heaven over here in Watertown, Tennessee. Um, I just want to say that I really, really miss my PT kids. I miss all of you so much. I wish that I was with you guys on a daily basis like I usually am. This really sucks for me not being able to see your faces every day and being able to say hi and um, being able to talk to you guys. So I hope that I can give you some semblance of um, community with this video. I hope that um, you guys know that I'm thinking about you all the time and that I really, really miss you. So, 